hello good day viewers you are highly welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial today we are going to be looking at this question on this board the question is actually coming from olympiad in your problem so now if you are watching my video for the first time consider subscribing today so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content and don't forget to hit the bell icon so now from here let's start i can write this equation as x to power x then to power 2 plus x to power x then i can transpose this 20 here to the right left hand side to be minus 20 equals 0. so now what did i do here so you know that from the um, indices we have something called if we have a to power m and we have n outside so we can as well write this as a to power n okay then m do you understand so now from there so that is what we did here initially we have x here okay and this is 2 but now what have we done we only change we interchange the power so x is coming inside the parentheses and 2 is going outside so from there that is why we have this okay so now we're going to see that from here we see that x to power x is here x to power s is here so we can set let a equals what x to power x so therefore from this equation anywhere we see x to power x we replace it by a so i have a squared plus a minus 20 equals what equals zero so now from there this is quadratic equation in terms of what in terms of a so whereby we are going to be looking for the value of a so now this quadratic equation will be factored in this form So now it is now we are now required to get what will be here and what will be here so now by looking for the two factors of uh, minus 20 that when you multiply them together we actually give us what we actually give us this uh, minus 20 so therefore let's do this if you have 4 that is minus 4 times 5 that is plus 5 you can see that we are going to have what minus 20 but here if you said minus 4 plus my plus 5 this will give us what this will give us plus 1 so now from here you can see that we can actually use this okay so therefore this place is going to be minus 4 and this is going to be plus 5 do you understand now so now from there we move further we have what we can have this to be either a minus 4 equals 0 or a plus 5 equal what equals 0 so now we have a to be equals 4 if I transpose to this to this side or a equals what minus 5 okay we should recall that we are not looking for a what we are looking for is what we are looking for value of x so therefore we are going to be having a to be x to power x where a is 4 4 equals x to power x i following so now from here we can see that this implies that this 4 can be written as 2 to power 2 equals x to power x are you following so now from there we can see that we are having something like 2 to power 2 x to power x so whenever you have this fact a to power a equals b to power b you can see that this is raised to itself b is raised to itself automatically a will be equals to b is either you equate the powers or you equate the basis so therefore we are going to apply it here so therefore applying that here you can see that x equals what x equals to 2 
one of the possible you know, equation or solution we, we, we have. Then after, let's look at when A equals what? Minus 5. So now if you plug this, you know that x to power s equals to a according to what you have. Eh? So therefore, having our a to be minus 5, x to power x will always be greater than 0. That is positive. Because of that, so this a equals minus 5 we have be we have to be what? Rejected. Okay, because x to power x cannot be less than, it will always be greater than 0. Okay, so now the only solution we have here is x equals to 2. So that is the end of the class. If you find the class very interesting, do not hesitate to follow, subscribe, and share to your colleagues. Bye-bye.